We'll now open the uh, Reveal License Commission meeting. Um, first item on the agenda is Route 1A Restaurant Group LLC doing business as the Marina Restaurant at the Wharf. I guess, we'll I guess we'll table that. Uh, item number two is a hearing. Rogers Realty of Revere, Inc. doing business as the Shipwreck Lounge, 55 Revere Beach Boulevard. I think what, uh, please state your name and address for the record, please. Excuse me? Please state Lewis your Padova. name and address. Louis I own the Shipwreck Lounge on the beach. Great, thank you. Um, so we got a, a, rep a report that um, that the establishment has been open um, beyond 2 a.m. On, on a couple of occasions, and uh, I'll have um, the Revere Police Department address that. Yeah, it's, nobody spoke to me about it, but I found out when I came back from Florida. Okay. Um, Sergeant Kerry, would you mind stepping up? Just, uh, I'm going to have Sergeant Kerry give you a... a um, her findings in terms of what what uh, she's been um, seeing or witnessing. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, on two separate occasions within a week's time span, um, I was on my regular patrol on 11-2 two, of this year, which was the daylight savings night. I went by the shipwreck lounge. It had begun closing at 1.40 a.m. Uh, the grates were pulled down at that time. I continued on my regular patrol, um, still doing compliance checks throughout. At approximately 1.48 a.m., after daylight savings took effect, so it would be in actuality 2.48 a.m., uh, I noticed that there were cars still in the parking lot of the boulevard, uh, of the, uh, I'm sorry, shipwreck lounge. And as I was driving by, somebody in a nun costume had come out the side door and approached the car that was parked closely to that door. Uh, there was a male party at the entry door. Uh, he turned his head and said something back to the people uh, in back of him after they observed my marked unit parking, stopping out in front of the bar. I asked that male party if, who else was in the bar, and he had stated he had no idea. I knocked on the door. Uh, I heard of some voices diminished. The voices that were coming from inside diminished. And I heard one party say, who is it? I said, Revere Police. The door was opened, and uh, a bartender had opened the door. I believe his name is Kevin. Uh, I found out subsequently. Inside, there were three parties still sitting at the bar. Uh, he claimed that they were workers. Um, there was one plastic cup. I don't know what kind of liquid was in the cup. I went to the side door. The bartender beat me to the, the door and s started waving by as to signal the cars in the lot to leave. So uh, at that point, uh, there was still one car left in with an occupant, and he began to wave, saying, Night, Leanne. And I advised him of the... Closing time, again, uh, and realizing that it was daylight savings time, I did forward it to Lieutenant Randall, who advised me to keep an eye on the, on the establishment. The following week, I came back into work, keeping an eye on the establishment. And on 11-8, at 2.20, I was in my marked unit, and I noticed eight to ten more vehicles remaining in the lot. I would believe that there were patrons still inside at this time. I asked other units to come, some going to immediately to the back lot while I approached the front. Uh, at that time, I entered the bar. Uh, there was an older gentleman on a cell phone. There was two other parties out in front. The door to the bar was open. I could see patrons sitting at the bar. I entered the bar, and at that time, uh, I estimate 30 to 40 people still in bar, still inside the establishment at 220, 225. The bar itself was full of liquor. There were beers, there were mixed drinks. Uh, one patron had martini, there were bar, uh, other people had some hard liquor. Is it the same bartender? Uh, he was there. 
uh, but the older gentleman was uh, identified as Kenny O'Neill. Did anybody identify themselves as, as the manager of the establishment? He was the bartender that night. He was the man in charge, Mr. O'Neill. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. That, that's all right. Um, and again, um, I did note that I had gone down there approximately 1.30 and I noted that they had pulled the grates. So this seems to be a, they pulled the grates, but the cars don't leave. Okay. So we, I can't see inside the establishment. Uh, Mr. O'Neill claimed that he was having problems having the patrons leave uh, and that he, he needed assistance, but the bar was still full of drinks. It, full. He needed the police department's assistance? Yeah, or he just needed they just wouldn't leave. They just, they just don't want to leave. And okay. at that time, I made them leave. I told everybody to gather their belongings and to leave the premises immediately. Some of the patrons started trying to guzzle down their drinks, and I flashed my flashlight on them and told them to stop. There is no more alcohol being served at this establishment. They had to leave immediately <coughs> and not uh, go after any more alcohol at okay. that time. And um, any, any other times that, that uh, patrols had gone by and noticed that the establishment had been open after 2 a.m.? I had my suspicions prior to this. This is the first time I got confirmation. I advised Mr. O'Neill to keep the, the window grates open until all patrons have left. They have complied since then. I will give them that. They, I go by now. You can see inside, lights turned up, patrons leaving. So the, the, last, the last incident with um, Mr. O'Neill, what, what date was that? That was 11-8. 11-8, okay. And, and have you, have you or, or any of your offices um, seen the establishment open since? No. Like I said, they, they don't pull the grates down early any longer. They leave them open until after 2 a.m. because they know we're coming by now to see inside and make sure it's empty. Right. Can you tell me, um, did you see Mr. Padot over there at any of these no. visits? He was no. not on the premises? No. Thank you. Great. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no. I'll just say that I did have my suspicions prior to this. Uh, I advised my lieutenant about it. He told me to keep an eye on it. I advised Lieutenant Randall about it, uh, who advised me the same thing. And given my other duties, I was finally able to get there and do a compliance check. Great. Thank you. I have just one other oh. question, please. We're were the people that you had to deal with, the bartenders, were they cooperative with you? I mean, did they yes, try to help they out in the situation? I don't. Uh, Mr. O'Neill, he was concerned with uh, a write up, which I told him I was going to do. And, I, um, and he seemed befuddled by the fact that they wouldn't leave. And then I had to admonish him if you stopped serving the liquor, they'd leave. If you told them to get out, they'd leave. If you have problems with them not leaving, call us and we'll be happy to make them leave. And was he in agreement with that? Yes. Well, I advised him. I told him, don't think I don't know what's going on because you pulled the grades down. Because I do. And at that, and from since then, they have not pulled the grades down until after 2 a.m. when I know the bar is empty because I go by. Okay. And what about Kevin? Did Kevin comply? Kevin complied, yeah. Both, both, in, both yes. occasions? Okay, great. Thank you. Mr. Padova, can you, can you address um, these issues that... that well, she's absolutely right about the grapes. That's my orders, to put the grapes down, get the bartender out of there at 130, the grapes down, lights off, music off, to let everybody know we're closed, not because we're hiding and selling drinks. And since I came back from Florida, I told her to leave the grates up and the lights all the way up so everybody can look in. I realize there's no excuse for this behavior. But Mr. O'Neill has been with me for 30 years, and he's 72 years old. But he's honest, and he comes in every day. And, and that particular night over there, she's talking about all those people over there. 20 guys came in with a, a birthday party, overwhelmed him at 1230, and he just couldn't. One guy was half his age, twice his size. Says we got to get out of here, and the guy says, "What?" But 
That's needed here. There's no excuse for this. I apologize, and I assure you that it'll never, ever happen again. Um, so do you think that Mr. O'Neill should probably have somebody with him? I have somebody right now. He closes up every night. Okay, you do. I don't need this. I, I'm sorry it happened. Believe me. I've been there 35 years. I don't do this. Uh, this is, it's not a planned event. And I'm, mm -hmm. trust me, I'm sorry about this. Right. I don't have any questions. I don't have any questions. I mean, I, I've known the established to be there as long as I've been in Revere. And I think this is probably, unless I'm mistaken, the first time I've seen you here. Um, so I'm kind of surprised, actually. I'm more surprised at how many people were in your establishment. And, uh, I've I haven't had 40 that. people in there in my whole <laughs> career. I mean, so, I'm not contradicting the lady. There might have been 20 in there. They, they came from a birthday party, but 40. 40 people in there, that's, that's a lot of people. Yeah, well, she's pretty good. Only got nine bar she, she probably was right on the money. They, uh, well, you well, know. But, I'm um, sure she was right. Yeah, Whatever I, she said was right. right. I just think that, um, you know, knowing you, that uh, you do run a tight ship down there, <laughs> and I would hope that's how it's going to stay. Well, um, I don't have any neighbors complaining. It's just an unfortunate situation, and I can assure you it'll never happen you, again. You weren't around at the time this no. uh, took place, no. no. So okay, I have no other questions. So outside of this, this couple of uh, events, there have, have there been other it's, yeah, issues, um, events, uh, problems, Sean, I'll scare you. With this establishment in the last year, this has been the only. <laughs> Actually, one of these events was on daylight saving time. Also, I might yeah, add. So. I mean, no, um, shipwreck. It is surprising. The shipwreck. Okay. Uh, if anything, things trickle down to them, but it's not within their clients' out to have an issue. Uh, we're never there for anything violent. Uh, we were there last week for a drug and female, um, and I don't know if it was drugs or, drug or alcohol that she was having an issue with, but she was not on the potty at that time. She was subsequently taken to the hospital because of her uh, issues at that time. But, um, you know, shipwreck has always has been very cooperative with us. Uh, you know, we don't have big problems from them. But I did notice a pattern of cars being in the lot after a two o'clock closing. Well, I think that's your job. I think you do a great job at that. And, you know, it's nice to let them know we are out there, we are around, although the three of us may not be there. There's eyes out in the city after two o'clock. Well, so we'll I appreciate all it. the establishments equally right. across the board. And if there is an issue, we'd like to address it. We've taken that tact with. Uh, Las Vegas on the uh, Shirley Avenue. We've had uh, quieting down the problems down there. Uh, the boulevard's been another issue for us. We, we try to treat all the establishments equally, and uh, I think we do a pretty good job of that. Well, I think it works. We don't have too many problems in the city, and it must be because you are out there, and we appreciate that. So, so back, back to this case. So, my feeling is these are um, isolated incidences. So, I guess overall, we make sure that Mr. O'Neill's not by himself in the future. No. Especially no. at that age and given that. No, I've got another man there. And, and, the, and I have three tenants in the building who park in that lot all night, also. Yeah, so I think that's, that's the first and foremost important task to back up for him mm -hmm. to imagine what he was trying to do. To get no, he's not alone anymore. Anyone else want to speak on behalf of the establishment? Sure. Please state your name and address for the record, please. Uh, Richard Penta, 72 Crest Ave. I'm actually wearing two hats. One is the council that represents that area, and two is a character witness for uh, Louis Padova, who I've known for quite a long time. Um, and I talked about the situation. Daylight saving time, that's an issue in itself, and as an excuse, who knows. But this one incident, I, I tend to believe that People in the bar that knew he was away. Probably took a little advantage of this. But talking talking to Mr. Vadova, you know, going forward, he hired someone immediately when he got back. Because he doesn't want to get rid of the bartender. He's had him for 32 years, 72 years old. 
that's that big item that's over is he hired someone else just strictly to get people out of here. By quarter or two, he wants them out the door. So he's abiding by it. I think this one incident, like I said, is isolated and uh, I'm basically here for character witness for him. I know he's a man of his word and I'm sure he'll keep his word to this commission. Great, thank I'm you. I'm just looking for, for favorable uh, in this commission. Appreciate it, thank you. Thank you. Does anybody else want to speak on behalf of the establishment? Anyone want to speak in opposition of? Yes. Yes. Please. No, not directly. Not directly. Is it, uh, please, please oh, step up to the mic. About and the shipwreck. Not state your name for the record. Is this is this with respect to the establishment? Solely. Solely. No. Okay. Okay. Um, having heard all the all the information, I, I think. I'm inclined to, unless my colleagues are. Excuse me. Sorry. So I think, given the information, um, and I trust that that um, going forward that we're not going to have any issues like this, um, I, I would just table it. And, and unless there's another situation that that comes before us, I would say that you know you could be subject to action and rollback of hours if 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 that does happen. But for now, I I, I don't see any any need to to take any action other than just table it. Great, thank you. I'll second that motion. That was in the form of a motion. It wasn't for. I'll second that motion. Okay, we'll say aye. Aye. Yeah. Thank you. You'd like to speak before the, the commission? I certainly would, yes. Please. No, that's fine. So please state your name and address for the record, and then also um, you could tell us what, what uh, uh, your order of business. Yes, oh. please. Uh, Cheryl Whitridge, Cheryl Ann Elizabeth Whitridge, and I'm residing at 1021 Winthrop Avenue, Revere Mass, 02151. Okay, great. Zip code. And, and I'm a graduate, Revere High. Oh. I happen to be so. That's great. Mm -hmm. So, um, so what, are, what are your issues? Well, my concerns, I thought this was the perfect time, too. Um, as far as the Alcohol Commission for Revere, um, I have to say that I have been, let's see, um, I've lived in the city as youth, during my youth, I guess when the changing of 18 to 21, and I'm speaking as myself, thinking, oh, gee, because it, it, is he it was here. Um, we had roses at the time, whatever their names had changed or what have we, but basically public safety. And why I say so, because, as I said, a youth going in as, as my peers or whomever, and I was certainly told, no, we, it goes without saying what this, this is about. But um, there is, in fact, due to the alcohol, um, for heaven's sakes, we, we, we know that there's, there's uh, we have ample uh, rules, regulations for these facilities, uh, lounges and bars, but the owners... Intentions, I can't speak for everyone, but I can say for patrons going in innocently, as I'm saying, youth, even whomever in general, um, and my particular one, I have to be honest, is Bill Ashes that I've seen, and I know of people no longer with us. And, um, and, and sometimes with these, these places in our city, it's, it's like a dwelling hole for people. I mean, they're, they're spending paychecks, what have we, and it, 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 it's similar to Suffolk Downs. Mm -hmm. But I think this is more, to me, that I've seen obvious due to um, drinking, the mentalities, or maybe uh, they should... Uh, how, how can we regulate how many drinks someone has? I mean, we try, true. I just think, as the saying goes, out of sight, out of mind. That's the best for the health, too, of, of individuals. And it is to do, I think, with the city planning such action and through our public safety and the mayor's office. And, and I would speak as a resident mm -hmm. and being of um, family and friends of people who have departed and, so, and presently with us. Right. I feel good now. 
Great, thank you. Is, is there anything you'd like to ask me? Now we thank you for your opinion. Yeah. Well, uh, it's, it, it's fact. Okay. But thank you kindly. I happen to be a notary, and also I've studied some criminal justice, too, and have children myself. Great. Thank you for your thank time. You. Appreciate thank you. it. Do you want to read these off? Sure. Well, I'll read some of them. Oh, you can see now? No, I got big print. <laughs> For real? All right, let me start again. Communic communications. Oh, she wants to stop the first one. Where are communications? I can't find Oh, okay. We'll go on to uh, this part of the meeting, which is communications. Notification from the following package to us that they will begin opening on Sunday at 10 a.m. Gasco Oil, 520 Broadway. Form Number two, Form 43 from Massachusetts Alcoholic Beverage Control Commission, a return, no action, for the change of manager request of Patriot Civic Club, 93 Patriot Parkway. Mm -hmm. Notice from, number three, notice from Massachusetts Alcoholic Beverage Control Commission of a hearing for KST Corporation doing business at Bill Ash's Lounge to determine if fire and safety regulations have been violated. Number four, notice from Massachusetts Alcoholic Beverage Control Commission of a hearing for Boulevard Cafe, DBA, Sammy's Patio, to determine the safety regulations and violated with a blocked exit. Number five, notice from Massachusetts Alcoholic Beverage Control Commission of a hearing for Boulevard Cafe, DBA, Sammy's Patio, to determine if fire and safety regulations were violated. Number six, notice from Massachusetts Alcoholic Beverage Control Commission of a hearing for Eddie Max Lounge, DBA Atlantic Lounge, to determine if fire and safety regulations have been violated. Number seven, notice from the Massachusetts Alcoholic Beverage Control Commission of a hearing for Speakeasy, Inc., DBA Speakeasy, to determine if state laws and regulations were violated through unapproved transfer of license control perjury and hindering and or delaying commission investigation. I'm going to read the license renewals for 2015. <clears throat> uh, class 2 motor vehicle um, dealer, C. Rob, Rob Nakishian, uh, doing business as Beach Motors Auto Sales, 787B North Shore Road. Venice John Nakishian doing business as European Exotics Auto Sales, 787 North Shore Road. Atlantic Auto Body, Inc., 529 Broadway. Kevin Auto Sales, LLC, 1087R Broadway. Charlie's Auto Exchange, Inc., 655 North Shore Road. Exotic Auto Group, Inc., 212 Everett Street. Circle Auto Gallery, Inc., 400 Beach Street. Um, Taria uh, Attil Had doing business as Wonderland Auto, 1176 North Shore Road, Joseph McDonough and Associates, 1608 North Shore Road. A parking lot, Revere Hospitality, LLC, doing business as Hampton Inn, 230 Lee Burbank Highway. Alphonse A. J. D'Amico, doing business as Seaside Parking Lot, 646-660 Ocean Ave. CBW Lending, LLC, 190 VFW Parkway. Rockwall Realty Trust, 1380 North Shore Road. DTG Operations, Inc., doing business as Thrifty Car Rental, 40 Lee Burbank Highway. Bell Circle Associates, doing business as Company and Suites, 85 American Legion Highway. Common Vitula. Armwall, Inc., doing business as Nick's Bistro, 169 Squire Road. Hess Corp., doing business as Hess, 21212, 630 Squire Road. Hess doing business as Hess 21333, uh, 41 Lee Burbank Highway. Mm -hmm. De Maria, doing business as Honeydew Donuts, 520 Broadway. Another De Maria, Inc., doing business as Honeydew Donuts, 304 Squire Road. Queen Associates, Inc., doing business as Twist and Shake, 82 Revere Beach Boulevard. KNC Management Enterprises, Inc., doing business as IHOP, 105 Squire Road. New Dale Fruit, 920 Broadway. Romero Jimenez Corp. doing business as Olympia Market 5 Atlantic Ave. Sunoco Inc. R&M doing business as Sunoco 7526-1781 North Shore Road. And Sunoco Inc. R&M doing business as Sunoco 7695-1030 Broadway. 
Trifecta Donuts LLC doing business as Dunkin' Donuts, 41 Lee Burbank Highway. Northgate Partners LLC doing business as Joe's Market, 338 Squire Road. Dairy Mott Liquor, Inc., 160 Squire Road. Bob's Pizza, DBA, Bianchi's. 322 Revere Beach Boulevard, Bell Circle Associates doing business as Comfort Inn Suites, 85 American Legion Highway, BW's Grill LLC, 843 Broadway. Right. Pool table, Beachmont Yacht Club, 168 Pearl Ave, one table. Boulevard Cafe Corp doing business as Sammy's Patio, one table. Um, automatic amusement devices, device. Boulevard Cafe Corp doing business as Sammy's Patio, 63. Uh, Revere Beach Boulevard, five devices. KST Corp doing business at Bill Ashes Lounge, 78 Revere Beach Boulevard, five devices. William Shemness doing business as Buster Bar, 113 Shirley Ave, four devices. The Beachmont Yacht Club, Inc., 168 Pearl, Pearl Ave, two devices. Twin Corp doing business as Margaritas and Martinis Food and Spirits, 488 Broadway, four devices. Revere Lodge, uh, number 1171 of the P, a BPOE of USA, Inc., 198 Shirley Ave, four devices. And RK and E Corp, doing business as BK's Bar and Grill, 264 Ocean Ave, five devices. Entertainment, Dairy Mart Liquor, Inc., 160 Squire Road. In Hotel Motel, uh, Seguru Hotel LLC, doing business as Fairfield Inn and Suites, 100 Morris Street. Revere Hospitality, LLC, doing business as Hampton Inn, 230 Lee Burbank Highway. Emerald Business Enterprise, Inc., doing business as Roadway Inn, 309 American Legion Highway. Bell Circle Associates, doing business as Comfort Inn and Suites, 85 American Legion Highway. Oh. All right. um, no, we got this one and this one. All right, I'll do this page and then you guys can finish. It's not easy. Restaurant, all alcohol. NIA Entertainment Holdings, LLC, doing business at Showcase Cinema Revere Chatters Bar, 565 Squire Road. Rogers Realty of Revere, Inc., doing business at Shipwreck, 55 Revere Beach Boulevard. Boulevard Cafe Corp., doing business at Sammy's Patio, 63 Revere Beach Boulevard. KST Corp., doing business as Bill Ashes Lounge, 78 Revere Beach Boulevard. Four Partners, Inc., Doing business as Antonia's at the Beach, 492 Revere Beach Boulevard. LNA Corp. Doing business as China Roma, 258-60 Broadway. 388 Broadway LLC. Doing business as Valari, 388 Broadway. Twin Corp. Doing business as Margaritas and Martinis Food and Spirits, 488-490 Broadway. Speakeasy Inc. Doing business as Speakeasy, 118-20 Broadway. Uh, Cinco de Mayo 2, doing business as Pancho Villa Mexican Grill, 124 Centennial Ave. Burbank, Inc., doing business as Full Rack Smokehouse, 297-99 Lee Burbank Highway. Casa Lucia, LLC, doing business as Casa Lucia, 61 uh, Lucia Ave. Lobster Cabin, Inc., doing business as Mirage Restaurant, 220 Linway. Domino's Restaurant, Inc., 14-16 Malden Street. Uno Restaurants, LLC, doing business as Uno Chicago Grill, 210 Squire Road. RK and E Corp, doing business as BK's Bar and Grill, 264 Ocean Ave. Eddie Max Lounge, Inc., doing business as Atlantic Lounge, 377 Revere Beach Boulevard. Revere Restaurant Group, Inc., doing business as T01's Margarita's Mexican Restaurant, 85 American Legion Highway. Pan Asia Group, Inc., doing business as Billy C's, T's 441 Revere Street. William Shameless, doing business as Shameless Bar and Grill, 113 Shirley Ave. MFRP Corp, doing business as a Squire, 604 Squire Road. Beachmont Pizza Corp, doing business as Luigi's Pizza, 616. With her Bav, 99 West LLC, doing business as 99 Restaurant and Pub, 121 VFW Parkway. Route 1, a restaurant group LLC, doing business as the Marina Restaurant at the Wharf, 543 North Shore Road. Patsy Inc. doing business as Renzo Brick Oven Pizzeria, 381 Revere Beach Boulevard. The Dining Room Inc. doing business as Sebastian's Restaurant, 733 Broadway, Unit 1. Wu G. Inc. doing business as Peter Wolves, 374 Broadway. David Lightbody doing business as the Boulevard Bar and Grill, 
320 uh, Broad Revere Beach uh, Boulevard, Cafe La Del Delicias, Columbia, Columbianus, Inc., 86 Shirley Ave, uh, Tequira, Tequira uh, Eucalypto, two corporation doing business as Las Vegas Restaurant, 107 Shirley Ave, and Off the Boat, Inc., doing business as D'Amelio's Off the Boat Restaurant, 304 306 Revere Street. I'll let Joe finish the rest of them. Thanks. Accident Inc. doing business at Satorini's Restaurant, 375 Revere Beach Boulevard. Luis Carlos Lopez Maya doing business as La Fonda Peza, 46 Revere Street. Utaka Inc. doing business as Utaka Fine Asian Cuisine, 335 Square Road. RD5 Martone Inc. doing business as Figaro's, 425 Revere Beach Boulevard. Solomon Ramos Corp. doing business as Cafe Costa de la Sol. 365 Broadway. McIntyre LLC doing business as McIntyre Restaurant, 163 Squire Road. Package Stores All Liquor, Washington Liquors, Inc. doing business as Easy Liquors, 750 Washington Avenue. Blanchard's Revere, Inc., 286 American Legion Highway. Enterprise Liquor Store, Inc. doing business as Woody's Liquors, 265 Broadway. Revere Liquors, Inc. doing business as D&L Discount Liquors, 653 Broadway. Land of Liquor, Inc., 1164 North Shore Road. Dairy Mart Liquor, Inc., doing business as Dairy Mart Liquor, 160 Squire Road. P&M Liquors, LLC, doing business as State Road Liquors and Food Mart, 116 State Road. Phenomi, Inc., doing business as Beachmont Liquors, 669 Winthrop Avenue. Ocean Liquors, Inc., 210 Shirley Avenue. Northgate Partners, LLC, doing business as Joe's Market, 338 Squire Road, Parkway Convenience Inc., 19190A, Revere Beach Parkway. Package Stores, Malt and Wine. Hannah Koyu and Hong Koyu doing business as Orange Grove Market, 138 Shirley Avenue. AMBE Corporation doing business as Broadway Convenient, Mart 632 Broadway. Prezioso Enterprises, Inc., doing business as Vinny's Food Market, 296 Malden Street. Vapul Patel, doing business as 711, 1120 North Shore Road. Gasco Oil, Inc., doing business as Gasco, 520 Broadway. Squire Road Station, Inc., 174 Squire Road. AL Prime Energy Consultant, Inc., 655 Revere Beach Parkway. Clubs, All Alcohol, Revere Lodge, Loyal Order of the Moose, 1272, 470 Broadway. Revere Lodge 1171 of the BPOE of USA, Inc., doing business at, not doing business at, sorry, 198 Shirley Avenue. Beachmont Yacht Club, Inc., 158 Pearl Avenue. Broad Sound Tuna Club, Inc., 567 North Shore Road. Patriot Civic Club, Inc., 99 Patriot Parkway. Veterans Clubs, All Alcohol, Beachmont VFW, Post 6712, Inc., 150 Washington Street. Joseph Leon Matola, Post. 4524 VFW US Inc., 10 Garofalo Street. Inholder All Alcohol. Bisateki, Japanese Steakhouse doing business as Bisateki. Steakhouse at 407 Square Road. Boston Hospitality, SP, VEF, LLC doing business as Hampton Inn, Revere. 230 Libra, uh, Libra Bank Highway. General on premises alcohol, Sons of Revere LLC doing business at Sons of Revere 3 Revere, I'm sorry, 8 Revere Street. Late additions to the agenda renewals. Club All Alcohol, Point of Pines Yacht Club Inc., 28 Rice Avenue. Restaurant All Alcohol, Wonderland Entertainment LLC doing business as Wonderland 290 North Shore Road. Secondhand dealer Ramon Cadenas doing business as L. Brillante. Jewelry, 166 Shirley Avenue. Gold, silver, precious metals, and jewelry dealer. Ramos Caderas Cadenas, doing business as El Brillante. Uh, 160, thank you, 163 <laughs> Shirley Avenue. Uh, class 2 motor vehicle dealer, Motorcycles of Manchester, Inc., 184 Broadway. Pat Tata, doing business as Millennium Motors, 1. 
50 American Legion Highway, one, I'm sorry, 190 American Legion Highway, Circle Associates, Inc., doing business as Circle Auto and Truck 440 American Legion Highway. Um, our next meeting will be scheduled for... Uh, Excuse me, Commissioner. At this time, I'd like to address the... Um, I know no one's here, but we have taken up the walk. Uh, the Marathon Club, Commissioner Hall, Commissioner Hall, Commissioner No problem with it. I don't see anyone in attendance. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't have any problem with it either. It's, it's an establishment that's been in place a long time. There's never been any issues with it. It's a, it's a, you know, a fine restaurant. Um, what time were they open before? They're going from, from 10 a.m. to 8 a.m. 9 to 8, 11 to 10. 11 to 10 on Sundays. Correct. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve that. Second the motion. All in favor? Aye. The, the, the one last thing we, on the uh, the boulevard was that closed? Are we st still going to review that on a? Oh, because of the two days. The next, yeah, the next gotcha. Week, the next week. Yeah. So we should we should um, we should make sure that a letter goes out to the uh, to the establishment. We should be yeah. requesting that we want, that, uh, we want him back. He be in attendance. Great. Correct. Correct. Okay. So, okay. So, if if uh, so, um, Lieutenant Randall, at um, Commissioner Guanasso's request, that if there is another incident at the boulevard, that we establish a uh, let us know that make sure that the commission receives a, a police report so that we can have him come in before the next scheduled meeting. Uh, yes, I'll make sure that any any future reports will be uh, forwarded. Great. Thanks. Any other business? No business. Nope. So um, our next meeting is Wednesday, June, June, January 14th? 21st. That's four weeks, isn't it? It's our week in the month. Okay. All right. 21st it is. Um, I'm, I'm sorry? Oh, does it? Okay. January 21st. You don't know, bring your glasses. Why well, um, bring your glasses? <laughs> I couldn't. So I don't know my contact lenses either. I don't know okay. read what you read. I'll make a, a motion to adjourn the meeting. Is there a second to that? A second the motion. All in favor say aye. Aye.